Hello everyone. Welcome back to Life is Strange. So we're on our way to Warren. Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong buttons. And I need a little more time. This is better. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. That's, that's better than her head. That's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Okay, well. I guess that's a good thing then. An email from Victoria. I'm not sure I want to read it. But let's read it. <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks for... But we were not friends. Wait, what? Okay. Thanks, but we were no friends. Not sure what's up with it. Maybe it was because we did something. Can we talk to him? Zachary. I don't really want to talk to Zachary. I could tell him, of course, about the pregnancy, but I'm not such a jerk. Okay, let's go to the main campus. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Okay, now talk to her. At least there's been a photo made of the situation. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should have intervened. Okay. I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. Okay, I'm going I to rewind it. And try something different. Come on, you can. Come on, we can do this. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Okay, the only thing, actually, if we try to do all these things, we are completely changing how we are. So that might not be good. But we'll do this. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will oh, remember course. this conversation. But she's my friend. And that was the more important oh, thing. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Oh, that felt good. Can I? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh, that's interesting. I now have the choice to rewind back and take a photo. But this is the way the consequences system works, of course. Do I want to help Kate or do I want to keep it to myself? Wait, what's with that signpost? I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Oh, okay. Okay, we are going to keep helping Kate. Let's go to the main campus. There's a drone again! She's still flying. There we go, behind the school to the parking lot. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got a car. I think he does. Well, actually, he wouldn't be standing against one otherwise. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Yeah. Well, we'll see how this goes. Is it Juliet? I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? No, really. Juliet still looks upset about Zach and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. 
I'm still screwed up. Doesn't matter. It won't bother me. I won't bother you then. I have to oh, go see Warren uh, before Oh, that's the wrong answer to me. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zack and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave it by that. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Darn. What? <laughs> okay, instead of reserved, retarded. Okay, that's pretty, Max, pretty actually. Get nice. your ass over here. Okay, I'm here and here. And it is his car. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Oh, what up, of course Max? he did. How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Aw, no hug? Check that's out my new wheels. Really cool. Stupid from you. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. Oh, that's the wrong pretty far. Time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see yep. a photo of that. Sorry, don't have them. Um. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. <laughs> Had I known that. Of course, of course. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? I did? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That I don't know if I know ex feet. any one of those uh, uh -huh. photo, uh, pictures. Make sure you watch photo. Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust? No fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, oh, yeah. that sounds awful the way you say it. Um. Faster pussycat kill kill? What? Okay, let's say that. No, let's hear what I it was is. impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Oh, that's a was movie, a genius apparently. Black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Um, Do I want to talk about it? I think it goes now in the direction of the rewinding stuff. And it could give an interesting one, uh, but I do need to talk, I think. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Good. Tell That's me good. Everything. I hate medicines. In real life, actually. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Oh, Max she's Caulfield, talking. Right? Uh oh. One of the Jefferson's photo groupies. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw now. Wait. What are you talking Answer about? Me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Interesting. I could call the police. Take a step back. I take a step back, I guess. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Oh, wow. Hey, Headbutt. leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, Stop not that. a whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Holy hell. Who's that? Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! <sighs> Oh, get come in, on. Max. I guess get I get in. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't 
Don't even try to run. Nobody. Yes, we, nobody. Well, I guess we do. And there's security. Good. Bubble head. Sorry. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Yeah, I guess I am. Don't give me the guilt. Oh, that face. is At Chloe, my friend, who I didn't I call back. Chloe. I'm glad to see you. Ah, okay. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So, what did that freak want with you? Um, hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So mm -hmm. I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I guess? I I'm guess. not sure where to talk about. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely. Out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're yeah, still smart indeed. ass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm, only for Mark Jefferson, apparently? Okay. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well... I'm not sure what to say at this point. Just gonna be quiet, I guess. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome he home, He is Max. a tiny tool? I think she's two years older than me. Not sure. But she feels two years older, at least. And I guess this is her place? And I saved you today. Don't, don't I need to say that at some point? I guess I should, but... Come on in. Not don't be shy. I'm not sure the this is the right time. Nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home. <laughs> That's a different kind than the last thing we saw in the four, four last episode of Homesick, which was home sweet home. In a really weird language of dots and stripes and circles. Everybody lies. No expectations. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Yeah, it's I cool. guess it did. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on wow. some music while I medicate. But I medicate or meditate? Oh, wow, she smokes. Okay. Where's the uh, hi-fi? There we go. It won't play without any power. Serious? It's not plugged in? Or serial, I guess to say. Lights! Camera! Music! Action! Sound effect, something like that. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Uh... I guess we need to grab a. I wonder what Chloe oh, keeps in here. Well, I could try, but 
I think I need to put on the hi-fi first, or I'm going to put a hi-fi on. F What's with all these pictures? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Uh, Rachel Amber, age 19. Who is she? Trash can? Why should I search the trash can? Look at that. Oh, wow. Chloe and her dad were so close. Were? Wait, were? What happened to her dad? And why can't I put on a... Is this a desk or a storage space? Well, let's search for a CD then. I think this junk swallowed her desks. Nothing there, I guess. Nope, nothing there. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Aw. Come on, where's your music? Wait, what's that? Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. So, don't search. Okay. Closet, drawer, height chart. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. That is awesome. That is gone. Aha, uh -huh, so that is gone. Suitcase. Nothing but Lots junk of beer. in the suitcase. Cigarettes, different stuff. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Hmm. Don't feel grow up? Party, oh, you know, party all party night. Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, yep, right. indeed. Oh, sorry. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You mm. should stick to taking photos. Sorry. I could rewind, but... It's here, Max. Look a little harder. Really? Oh, okay. Well, I know that then. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Hmm... I take photos? Oh, not much. Not much. You know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I dose those candy flipping morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. Could be interesting. Hey, did you find the disc yet? I think I'll keep it at that. Box, paper... Well, I guess I'll look in the closet or in the drawer then. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Yeah, and I guess he didn't have blue hairs uh, first. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Oh my god. A box. Old cardboard boxes. Well, let's search it. <gasps> oh, of course. Dude, you broke oh. my glass snow dough. Thanks. Sorry. Um, I did not do that. I did not do that. Okay, nothing happened. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. I think I'm doing this the wrong Man, way. I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. We had such a blast drawing these wow. together. Those are pretty nice. But nothing in there. Old cardboard boxes. Oh, they don't see say anything different. This looks like a laundry bag. Well, let's search it. Maybe there is some and music it in it. It's like dirty laundry. Gross. Okay, nothing in there. Well, the only box remaining is that one, I think. So let's look in this one. Oh, there is. Okay. There we go. That's a nice picture. <laughs> hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Ah, so she died two years ago, age 19. That's Rachel Amber. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. 
After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. And she took me in? Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So Rachel took my so place? So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. Um, so what happened? What about your mom? Well, I actually wonder where her mom is, but let's so ask what first happened? what happens. Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Age 19? Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume oh, okay. you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't uh -oh. heard anything Sounds from like her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? No, I can. Wow, I really feel for her. Yeah, let's put on some music. Maybe she tears up a little. I hope this isn't copyrighted. Wow. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. <laughs> okay, so... I can't sleep above her head. Okay, that's funny. Well, I guess I'll go to the garage then and see about fixing I my camera up. I should Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Yeah, that's what I say. So, I think I will end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to the garage and see what's there. See if we can fix our camera up. And I hope when we fix our camera up, she will join us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on it if you did as usual. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>